Welcome to Remora Marine. My name is Simon and this is an unboxing and quick start video guide for Remora Solo. Save the packaging for 30 days in case you want to return the tool. Make sure to read the manual, there's a lot of important information in there. Remove the power head from the box by pulling out the motor end first. It's a lot easier. Next, remove the tray, set it aside, and reach into the box for the brush. Make sure you check our website. We offer a broad variety of brush styles and types to help clean almost any surface or any level of fouling. Remove the battery from the tray with side cutters. Don't use a knife. It can slip and cause injury or damage. Once you get the battery out of the bag, make sure and read the battery warning paperwork. There are a lot of important lithium battery safety warnings in there. Flip the tray over and remove the twist ties to free the accessories and parts. Next we'll take a look at the various components and how to use them. First we have the power head, AC charger cord, manual, half inch wrench, power supply, charger cap, spare drive key and flex plate, brush, and battery. The controls are simple. Speed and direction are controlled by the VSD on the back of the unit and the pause button at the front stops and starts the motor. Your manual gives you more details on how to use the controls. Next we'll install the battery. Make sure you hold the clips out with your thumbs and firmly press the battery into the machine. Carefully engage the clip into the catch. Make sure it is inside the catch ring and then snap it into place. Repeat for the other side. Now let's test the unit for operation. Press the pause button, turn the VSD knob and the machine will start. Turn the VSD to the right and it rotates clockwise, to the left is counterclockwise. Return the VSD to zero and press the pause button. Here's a tip that will help reduce wear and tear on the battery clips. Hold your thumbs against the clips when you pop them loose. To remove the battery, put your fingers up underneath the front edge of the battery and pull it out. Now we'll charge the battery. Plug the AC power cord into the power supply, then plug the power supply into the cap. When you plug the cap onto the battery, make sure the terminals line up correctly. Take your time. It can only go on one way. The battery will take up to eight hours to charge the first time. Make sure the red light is on on the charger and the green lights are cycling from top to bottom. Watch for four or five cycles to make sure it's actually taking a charge. After the battery is fully charged, we'll install the brush. Remove the spinner nut. Don't get any anti-seize paste on you. It's dirty stuff. When seating the brush, Make sure the flats on the drive hub align precisely with the flats in the flex plate. Slide it in place, make sure it's aligned correctly, and thread on the spinner nut. It's very important to make sure that the spinner nut is tight. Tighten it firmly. Install the fully charged battery into the unit, press firmly into place, Latch the clips, then test operation. Let's go clean something. If you happen to get some anti-seize on you or the unit, mineral spirits will clean it right up. Here's an important tip. Don't set your remora down on the brush. It will damage both the brush and the flex plate, causing the brush to wobble. Set the unit on its side. Thanks for watching our quick start video. If you have questions or comments, contact us with the information shown on the screen. Thanks again.